All right, we originally talked about NPV analysis in the context of a financial manager thinking about a project uh, that he or she may accept or reject on behalf of the firm shareholders. But we can think about um, this framework much more generally to include really any type of an investment that one might undertake. And so, and so here's an example of using NPV analysis when thinking about the purchase of a stock. And so uh, with the NPV, we just need the present value of all inflows less the present value of all outflows. And so for the stock, that's going to be our estimate of the stock's intrinsic value, net of the current market price. So the intrinsic value, that's the present value of the inflows. The price, that's going to be uh, present value of outflows because that's something that you will pay for the stock. And so we, we simply need to use our stock valuation techniques to try to estimate this quantity. Okay, and so let's go back to uh, the problem and see what we have to work with. So we have uh, a D1 of $1.80, and we know that there's going to be a constant growth in future dividends. And so this is a Gordon constant growth stock. And so our intrinsic value is D1 divided by R minus G, where R is our discount rate or our required return on the stock of 9.1%. So this is going to be $1.80 in the numerator and 0 0.091 minus 0 0.03 in the denominator. That's $29.51. Okay, so that's this part. Now let's subtract the price, 2402. So the NPV of this stock investment is 29.51 minus 2402, which is $5.49. So there's the NPV. And so you can think of purchasing this stock or the project in which you purchase this stock as increasing your wealth in present value terms by the amount of $5.49.